What's going on, guys? And welcome to the finale of Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last part, we did all the remaining galaxies in the, uh, in the, uh, observatory. Sorry, I have a bad case of heartburn. Anyway, so, um, in this part, it's time. Do I go to the location of your special in the center of the universe? We're gonna go to the center of the universe. You could have done this early. We could have done this earlier, but I prefer to wait until we've got all the stars. All right, then off we go. I love this cutscene so much. And uh, look, the observatory is just gonna go to the center of the ocean. All along the way, hold on a second. It's just gonna crash some Bowser ships. And there's Peach's castle, and uh, there's a warp field inside the castle. Go, Luigi. Go there inside, hurry. I like when she says go Mario more, but uh, yeah, it's gonna form a bridge to uh, Pika's castle. Unfortunately, Peach's castle has turned into kind of a uh, its own galaxy, let's just say. But anyway, this is Bowser's Galaxy after the fate of the universe. Oh boy, I love I love this galaxy. Let's just say I love the atmosphere. I love the final boss. I love the ending. Like, if there's any way, if there's a good way to send off a Mario game, it's obviously this game. And only New Super Mario Bros. Wii also. Like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm very luke. I've always, been, I'm very lukewarm on that game. But uh, New Super Mario Bros. Fi Wii's final stage is absolutely fantastic. But um, but anyway, I got a one up and died. <laughs> oh my god. I should not have chased that one up, but I got the one up and died. <laughs> okay, how this galaxy works out, they're gonna be uh, anything that the spotlight is basically gonna be a gravitational pull. I'm not gonna chase that one up a second time because, uh, yeah, we're not gonna chase that one up a second time. We can at least die 40 more times, so it's not really too work. We don't really need a one up, let's just say. Now, um,. Get rid of the dry bones. And, uh, yeah. As, as long as you stay on the spotlight, you're fine. I don't really consider this too hard of a galaxy, let's just say. There's gonna be multiple segments, and if you if you get past a segment, that's how you can that's how you've essentially made progress. And uh you can tell you've made progress when we go here. Fuck the star bits along the way. And this one's lava oriented. Be a little careful because if you fall in the lava, it can be very deadly. There's gonna take multiple hits, and uh there's gonna be potaboos. I'm not gonna chase that one up. Oh shit! All right. All right. Thank God you get hit burnt a second time. But uh, now yeah, we've made progress over here. Let's get some more star bits, and uh, uh we're getting another one. And this is ice skating. So uh, if you know the ice skating controls from uh Freeze Flame Galaxy, you'll be able to get through no problem. I don't think I want to chase that one up. Not today. I don't want to chase that one up. I don't want to chase that one up either. We have 40 lives, so we don't really need to be chasing one-ups. This one's quicksand, so be again be careful, quicksand's instant death, so. I almost thought I fell in the I almost fell in the quicksand twice, but um. Now uh we go here. And this is another this is probably the this is the last of the segment for Bowser, but uh we gotta move across platforms that are rapidly moving and disappearing so um and again gravitational pull oh fuck well, that's second death for this galaxy so uh yeah we're back to 40 lives <laughs> anyway so um again you don't have to really rush it but uh i probably shouldn't have just taken that gravitational pull and we should i would have been fine but uh let's just sit. now we know to stay in the uh, upper portion Now we know how to... Alright, there we go. Oh shit! Oh shit! I don't care! No! No! 
That was kind of weird movement right there, but um, yeah, as long as we're and this isn't a checkpoint, so uh, yeah, so just uh, if you get the bullet bill towards these Bowser statues, however, you get a coin, so good thing you know if you're low on health and also under this uh, swamp, there's coins, so if you're low on health, there's also good too. Now, there's gonna be some bullet bills, and there's also gonna be a bonsai bill, so just be very careful. Oh shit. Again, we have plenty of chances to get coins, so um, I think there's even a health. There's a health extension before fighting Bowser, so um, I probably shouldn't. Uh, I don't think I'll get that coin. I'll wait till there. Actually, I'll get that coin right there. Oh shit! Oh shit! All right, and uh. No! Alright, there we go. And that's, uh, look who it is! Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, because she's with me. Anyway, so, there's Bowser. Now, this is gonna act as a, uh, checkpoint, so, um... Bowser Jr. is gonna shoot shoot a meteor. So just my advice also is get this uh, get this health extension. You don't have to get you don't have to get the one up if it's not sure low on lives. You want a life loop. So uh, this is it, guys. Finally, you got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and wait. You know, with the lack of space fits dialogue, I love this scene in its own. In this galaxy, I rule a great galaxy and I'm gonna repeat my inside will last forever. It will rule every pitiful corner of this universe. So Luigi, as you can see, I got big plans and stopping you is at the top of my lift. So yeah, with the lack of the space that this is a phenomenal boss lift to say, but um It's technically the same as before, except there's gonna be some catches. Um Knowing how I died in the very first level with this time failing this timing, but yeah, you wanna uh Oh shit, yeah. You want to hit the Bowser head, let's just say, but uh, let's just get a coin, but uh, yeah, my nunchuck, the past couple of coins have been a little finicky recently, so that's kind of uh, I swear, I could have sworn I hit him right there. And if you ask the shit, I haven't shown that often, but if you shoot those little yelling with starbucks, you get coins, but um, All right, there we go. We got it right this time. Anyway, so, uh, he's gonna go through multiple phases, so don't think this is essentially the same as the last two fights. Oh, shit. Yeah. As long as we get the coin, we should be fine, but, uh, I think you want to keep a distance from battles. I can't remember this from this fight. Alright, there we go. And, uh... Die! Well, you're gonna go into multiple phases. Anyway, this phase is gonna shoot fire and you gotta basically, uh... Do, you see what these balloon things are for? He's gonna basically transform to a ball and basically get him with that. I think this is the easiest of the phases. He's gonna, uh... He's gonna shoot multiple fireballs, but, um... And there we go. And, uh, yeah, final phase. I think this, even though there's, I think this phase is epic, this is essential, the music is epic. It's essentially the same as the last two fights. He's gonna shoot, uh, multiple, uh... He's also gonna do that thing, I forgot he did that also. Anyway, so, um, yeah, get, get him on this, and, uh... Just do the same thing you did in the last fight. This is the last of the phases. And he's gonna get especially pissed here, but um this is the last of the hits. We're not gonna get 150 star bits, unfortunately, but uh 
Yeah, just wait till, uh, wait till he kind of, uh, dodge the fire also, but, um, oh shit, yep. Yeah, we're not gonna get that coin. Actually, wait a minute. I forgot he, I, he doesn't do it all over again, but, um, okay, so, um, all right, there we go. Get this, uh, there we go. All right. You're toast. Actually, you're toast. That's him. And Bowser's gonna fall in the lava. And that's the last grand star. Now, this ending that's about to play is fantastic. It's probably my favorite ending for a Mario game. And Luigi's flying. Actually, it's going to show in a second. Luigi's flying and, uh... Peach falls out and, uh... And Luigi gets his Peach. However, this scene is phenomenal. Bowser's like um, cramming for life right here. No, my galaxy, my empire. This can't be happening. And look at this scene, because this gets brutal. Everything's gonna shine up. However... A whole vortex is gonna show up. And they're walking out the castle and... This ending took an unexpected turn just now. However, this scene right here... And everything is just gonna go in the vortex. This ending scared the shit out of me the first time I ever played this game. Like this, this is a very unexpected. This is not really like the most appropriate ending for a Mario game. I just personally love it. And everything implodes. Do you hear the baby stars? The newborns will grow up to be galaxies someday. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. 
Venting that star doesn't want to create a new star, and the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So you'll see. This game basically just said Luigi died and came back to life in a new galaxy. So, yeah, brutal ending for a Mario game, let's just say. And look, there's Guppy, and, uh, look at this. There's, uh, a whole bunch of new people in, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. There's Guppy, we already saw him in the back, we see him in the background now. There's, uh, there's Bowser Jr., and there's Octor there's some Octoroks. That's Zelda, what am I thinking of? There's the P Pumpkin Goomba, there's Dino Piranha, and there's even Bowser. There's Peach. Now, I forget what Luigi says in the scene because I've not beaten this as Luigi in, like, probably a decade. Yes, yes all new life. Carries the sense of the essence of stars, even all of you. There's Good Egg Galaxy. There's all the galaxies we explored throughout the game. And oh boy, this was a Super Luigi Galaxy. Well, technically Super Mario Galaxy was playing the Mario Kart. I think, uh, hold on a second. Does it show Luigi in the pictures? Hold on, we gotta see this. There's gonna be some pictures in a second, but I wanna see it. There's Mario in the pictures. That shows you how much hate Nintendo hates Luigi. Anyway, this out this playthrough was absolutely brilliant, let's just say, and uh I definitely had a lot of fun playing revisiting this game. And uh it's just like um I definitely cut revisit this game off, and I definitely was able to showcase it why a lot in this playthrough, and uh we still have a little bit left doing this playthrough because uh when you beat the first Bowser star, we get what is called the Purple Coin Stars. And they're in all 15 galaxies throughout the whole game. So, uh, yeah, the next part's going to be a bonus part where we do all the Purple Coin Stars. And uh, on top of that, also, then once you do the final Bowser, a second, that is, in order to 100% Mario Galaxy, you have to do uh, the final boss twice. And then... If you do it as Mario, you unlock the ability to play as Luigi. And if you do it as both Mario and Luigi, you'll unlock a 121st star, which we will showcase at the very end. So, uh... So, yeah. Basically, uh, we have a few bonus things left to do. We will do the all the purple coin stars all in one video, and I don't think know how long it's going to take, but we're going to do it all just to uh, save through time and uh how is luigi not in these credits when you play as luigi i don't get it nintendo could have made some sprite changes i don't know nintendo just hates luigi Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that was essentially, that's all I really have to say about this credit sequence, and, uh, I love this, uh, I love that whole ending sequence of, like, everyone basically dying and then, like, uh, coming back as a whole new galaxy. It's a brutally dark ending for a Mario game. Like, when the first time I ever saw that ending, it definitely, uh, blew my mind because 
You're used to the happy ending in a Mario game. Zelda, it's different because Ocarina of Time's ending is very, very dark, let's just say. But uh, a couple other Zelda games have dark endings. And, uh, but, like, this thing is, uh, it's definitely not really common in a Mario game, let's just say. There's Boulder guys. <laughs> I have yet to have seen a playthrough where there's like six boos fighting Boulder guys. There's Bowser Jr. and uh, yeah, it's basically a trippy memory lane, which uh, I think uh, actually New Super Mario Bros. the DS was the first uh, Mario game to have like credits including like pictures and all that. It might even, it actually it wasn't Sunshine. But anyway, the credits are almost over, so uh. Executive producer Sir uh, it's crazy to think it's been almost a decade since that man passed. I remember that when that happened, it like blew my mind because I was like sad for the whole day. I remember it was all over the internet also, but uh yeah. But anyway, the end. And look what Mario has to say about this. Thank you for playing my game. Hey, you'll include the Luigi bit in this, but not the credit, the pictures, but anyway. A new chapter has been added to the storybook. A pur the purple comet has appeared. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, and now we're back to the title screen. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, I think I'm going to show a little bit of a trick right here. Now, um, if you don't feel like playing the, uh, game as Mario, uh, if you don't feel like playing the game with Mario, here's the way you can get around this. Take this file right here, copy it, copy a 100% a game we 100% is Mario, if I can do it with the cursor. If the cursor can cooperate. It took me a minute just to hit the damn copy button, but, uh, yeah, shows you how finicky the Wii Sense can be. Now, um, we're gonna copy it on our, our, uh, I'm gonna copy it on Planet 5. So, yeah. So, if you don't want to play the game as Mario 100%, um, yeah, we can essentially, uh, that's the only way you can get around playing as Mario. It's a trick I've always known, but, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is the first time I ever played Super Luigi Galaxy. This is this falls from 2015, but anyway, that's beside the point. Anyway, next time on a Super Luigi Galaxy, we're just going to kind of play it. Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. Please look down at your feet. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just accepting the challenge will show you something about your character. Anyway, so uh, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, we're going to get those remaining 15 stars. See you guys then.